Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Chris Profi, musically obsessed with vinyl CDs and cassettes. Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Oh yeah! What a beautiful fall day here in Poughkeepsie, New York. I've got three new Miles Davis albums to show you that I've added to the collection. And this is from his, to me, his most exciting period of music. This is when he was beginning to experiment and then when he went full on into crazy jazz fusion. These albums date from 71, 74, and 77. So let's get into it. First up, Miles Davis, Jack Johnson. This was from 1971. This was uh, for a documentary on The Boxer. Jack Johnson, and actually his voice appears on the last tune. What an amazing album. Slow building tunes. You've got only two songs on here. Uh, side one is a song called Right Off, and side two is a song called Yester Now. John McLaughlin plays on this. Herbie Hancock plays on this album. I love that uh, cover art on the back as well. So this was, uh, I would categorize it as jazz fusion, but it's not as crazy as a couple of these other albums that I'm going to show you. So if you're sort of into like the kind of blue Miles Davis and a little scared about the fusion stuff, this might be a cool gateway album for you. Miles Davis, Jack Johnson. All right, next up. These next two are both uh, reissues by Music on Vinyl. This is uh, Miles Davis, 1974, the year I was born. One of my favorites by him, Get Up With It. Now, interesting story, when my daughter was born, and uh, I would get up at night, you know, my wife and I took turns feeding her, I would always put on this album, and the first tune is uh, over 32 minutes long, and that would usually be about the amount of time that it would take to kind of get through the bottle and burp her and all that good stuff and um so it's sort of got a in a in a strange way it's got a sentimental reason for me liking this album and uh the first song is 32 minutes long it's called he loved him madly and it's a tribute that miles davis did to the great duke ellington slow brooding building song that you might think 32 minutes chris is that like gonna keep my attention to me, it does. And as I said, this is an exciting time for Miles Davis. Uh, he was playing his trumpet through a wah-wah pedal at times. You've got a tune on here called Rated X, where Miles is playing an organ. There's another fun song called Red China Blues, and that's what it is. It's a blues tune, uh, even with a harmonica in there. I love the cover art of this album. I love everything about it. And... Um, you know, this is when he was really starting to experiment where jazz could go. And thank God he did because, you know, Miles was one of those artists where he didn't rest on his laurels. And it was sort of like, hey, I'm getting kind of tired of where jazz is right now. I'm going to try something different. Did he annoy jazz purists along the way? Probably. But he also brought in a whole bunch of new fans and expanded the genre. So 1974, get up with it. This is, um, forgot to mention, these are unreleased studio recordings from the years 1970 to 1974. And lastly, probably the craziest of, of these three, it's a live album from 1977 called Dark Magus. And that is Miles on the front cover, sort of a blurred shot. That's him on the back. This is a gatefold. Again, a reissue by Music on Vinyl. This is uh, recorded in 1974 from a show at Carnegie Hall. Uh, four two-part recordings. And interesting, I, I looked this up. They are titled with Swahili numerals. Very, very cool. Words that I would use to describe this album. I wouldn't start with this one, by the way, out of these three, unless you really want to go down that crazy road. This music is dense. It's dark. It's thick. It's 
crazy. It's fusion times 20. Uh, but again, I love it. And I like all eras of Miles Davis. I love the traditional stuff like Kind of Blue. I like when he was slowly building that jazz fusion in with like In a Silent Way. Bitches Brew, of course. Jack Johnson. But I love all this later stuff. Even like albums like On the Corner. Just so, so good. So this is from 1974. And that's what I've added into my collection from Miles Davis. All right, everyone. Hope you have a great weekend. See you later.